The City of Pflugerville has two propositions on the November 4th general election for capital improvements. One for transportation projects and one for parks. In the 2012 Citizen Survey, residents indicated that traffic flow and maintenance of city streets were the two city services that should receive the most emphasis from city leaders. A Heather Wild Roadway expansion and city sidewalks were listed in the top five capital improvements residents wanted. The transportation bond, if passed by the voters, will authorize $28 million for road improvements. East Pecan Street from State Highway 130 to Weiss Lane will be three lanes with curb and gutter with a sidewalk and rehabilitation from Weiss to Cameron Road. These are the first three lanes of a future six-lane corridor for East Pecan. East Pflugerville Parkway from State Highway 130 to Lake Pflugerville will include reconstruction of the existing two-lane road with curb and gutter and provides the first two lanes of a future four-lane corridor. A new sidewalk will run along Pflugerville Parkway from Colorado Sand Drive to Becker Farm Road. Both Weiss and Row Lane will undergo a reconstruction via a cost-sharing safety project with Travis County bond funds previously approved by county voters. Both roads will receive shoulders and Weiss will receive turn lanes at major intersections. Heather Wild Boulevard from State Highway 45 to Wilkie Ridge Lane will widen to a four-lane road with utility and pedestrian improvements, a bridge replacement, and an added hike and bike trail underpass. The project adds a traffic signal at Keekston Lacey, and alignment improvements will adjust Newmeister to intersect Heather Wild at a 90-degree angle. Finnig Lane will have a three-lane section that includes a two-way central left turn lane, curb and gutter, and curve modifications. 12 substandard neighborhood streets in the Heatherwild and Windermere area would be completely reconstructed. Factoring in community growth and based on city revenues and projections, the $28 million transportation bond, if approved by the voters, is currently estimated to cost $76 per year for the average Pflugerville homeowner. In the 2012 Citizens Survey, residents indicated that maintenance of local parks, quality of facilities, and Lake Pflugerville restrooms as their top three park priorities. Large park development, trails and greenways, and community park renovations were in the top ten capital improvement priorities. The second bond proposition, if passed by the voters, will authorize $25 million in tax bonds for parks and recreational projects that include development of parks, Funding would support various amenities included, but not limited to, trails or walkways, playscape elements, a dog park, and shade structures as identified in the Trails Master Plan and Undeveloped Park Study. Trail improvements. Trail additions and upgrades based on selections from the Parks and Recreation Commission's five-year comprehensive park plan. An athletic sports complex. A sports complex would be pursued based on the Pflugerville Athletic Complex study which recommended sport fields of soccer, baseball, and football and would include parking, restrooms, and infrastructure. Lake Pflugerville. Upgrades from the Lake Pflugerville Master Plan include a lakeside promenade, boardwalks, additional trails, shade, parking, playgrounds, and restrooms. Factoring in community growth and based on city revenues and projections, the $25 million Parks and Recreation Project Bond, if approved by the voters, is currently estimated to cost $68 per year for the average Pflugerville homeowner. Both bonds, if approved, would cost the average Pflugerville homeowner $144 per year. Additional maps and information about the bonds is posted online at pflugervilletx.gov forward slash bonds. Residents have the opportunity to vote on the bonds in the November 4th bond election.